This video will show you what's inside the Cool Geography Resources area. If you look on the coolgeography.co.uk website and you go across on the top part of the right hand side you'll see Members area. When you log in, um, you click on it, it'll take you straight to Resource Menu. There's six hyperlinks in that page. One for Unit 1, the Physical Geography Resources. You've got Unit 2, Human Geography, Geographical Applications, Revision Resources, Geographic Skills and a few Administration Documents. Click on Unit 1, that shows you what you get. You'll get a scheme of work, book chapter, homework booklet. I'll show you those first. So scheme of work looks like that, uh, quite straightforward. You've got where the specification content comes from, what the objectives of the lesson are, the outcomes, what resources go along with it, including YouTube clips and things like that, what the basic activities are. Okay. Uh, how you can differentiate uh, some sit, uh, skills and citizenship links. Okay, and those relate to uh, these lessons. Okay, so I'll show you one of the lessons. Here's one on tropical rainforest characteristics. It's a PowerPoint. We've got a video. There's the learning objectives and outcomes. It's a nice map for the kids. Some photographs um, and background information. There's a skills exercise drawing climate graphs, then how to describe it, and then other various uh, things on, on tropical rainforests. And you also get a book. Okay, so this runs alongside it as well. This is the Living World book. And there's loads of background stuff, there's key terms, as you'd expect in a conventional textbook, loads of resources little activities and things like that, so there's a textbook that goes alongside it. And in addition to that, you also get a homework booklet. There's a homework booklet, it's, uh, most of the homeworks I score out of 10. Um, within that, uh, you've got built in, they're all built around revision uh, of the topic, lots of skills, sort of exam-based skills, mind maps, that sort of thing. And I've tried to build in um, some of the statistical skills as well that are covered within the within the course so you can see lots of things there homework booklet book chapter scheme of work covered um, every every topic area within the specs covered and you also get assessments now obviously they're not AQA official assessments the stuff I've put together um, but again useful for topic tests and things like that's so all Show you a quick assessment. Here's one for the living world again. Lots of questions, similar sort of style to the AQA because I actually just copied their format. Um, lots of multiple choice ones, building towards those bigger questions towards the end. Explains for six marks. Uh, they discuss the impacts for nine marks. So um, again, following the, the AQA's pro forma as much as possible. Um, so you've got resources on that. Living World there, we've just been looking at. I've covered all of the um, different option units now as well. And then there's the physical units in the UK section. So you get pretty much everything. Go back. Unit 2 is exactly the same. It covers everything. Everything's covered now. All three units plus all option units. And I've done revision resources as well. So as you can see, there's revision resources for every topic. I've done some concept maps. Here the students have to link concepts together. Um, so it's sort of a little revision thing. They're really quite powerful. I've done revision briefs like these for every topic. Um, that's basically an A3 a3 sheet that you could print out as posters and I've done odd one outs and, and so on nice thinking skills revisions with a set of the kids have to write the words and pick up the odd one out decide why it's the odd one out um, lots of sort of really good thinking work exercises and then on top of that you've got stuff on the geographic applications so I'll cover the Jury Bay and Kolkata for the AQA but also added in a River Tees one there's stuff for the field work as well. Okay, um, there's the River Tees evaluation. 
serves you a bit of time because you can do a river evaluation and the flood management aspect of one topic to get those sorts of resources and then the last little bit that's in there um, oh there's some geographic skills we've got that there's all of those covered various different bits so there's one in a, in a quartile range exercise okay including help boxes and things like that I'll show the kids how to do it and then the last area I guess is on the admin documents the student gate grade trackers and things like that um, so that's what you get within the members area.